Hey guys, how are you? Vladimir here from Traders Academy Club. In this video, I want to talk about uh, a different, a little bit different subject, not strategies, um, not how you make profits from specific setups, but ba basically the opposite way. What to do when you deal with a loss. And let's put the cards on the table. Everybody would experience a loss or streak of losses, or a losing week, or a losing month, or a losing quarter, later or sooner in a trading uh, during the trading journey. All these 100% success rate, 90% success rate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, promises, they are good, but they are impossible. In the in trading, it's you don't you don't depend on, only on yourself. It's you against the market it's you against billion of other traders okay the market is not a perfect organism it's not a perfect uh, place but whatever you want to happen will eventually go and happen and you need to understand it because later or sooner there will always be a loss it could be a loss of a trade it could be a loss of a, a week it's all very important thing here is what to do okay most traders what they do unfortunately is they remove the stop loss uh, or if it hits the stop loss they just buy back or sell back once again okay expecting something different to happen now you probably heard that many times in the past doing the same but expecting different outcome it's uh, kind of insane so that's what i want to talk about this video what to do uh, after you experience a loss in trading but before i dig deeper and, and show you the examples of uh, what i want to show if you are new to this uh, channel first of all welcome to our great community and i would like to invite you to join us in traders academy club so please follow the link below in the description uh, or in the pinned comment in the comment section and i hope to see you with us where you will enjoy from our real time trading education in our live sessions and trading reports which you will see in this video as well also i would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and to enjoy from all the content i upload uh, here basically on a weekly basis so please follow the subscribe button below uh, the video and uh, just remember to enable the notification there um, so you know when a new video is uh, is up and the last thing before we go to the charts, I promise, uh, as uh, always, YouTube algorithm requires these little features. So please show your support, hit the like button, drop some feedback below in the comment section. Your help is very much appreciated and welcome and needed. Um, so this channel can keep growing and uh, we can always keep uh, uploading new and new and new content for you. Uh, and if you have any specific subjects you want me to cover and to talk about in the future videos, please let me know in the comment section. If that's a subject I can help with, I will do that uh, with a pleasure. So uh, let's uh, go to our uh, uh, members area in Traders Academy Club. And I want to present one trade that we uh, basically discussed uh, in our live sessions in Traders Academy Club. And I want to explain why technically everything looks perfect, but whatever the uh, technical things happen and uh, not always the market would follow and that's very important thing what to do with the loss so uh, let's go to the market report sessions i want to take this report for the uh, case of the example so as you can see that's our trading reports uh, in the academy uh, let's scroll down to our watch list here we are and uh, to present this idea, I want to go to gold. Here we go. Uh, so let's, uh, quickly here, quickly to explain why I was looking for buys uh, back then, and what was the setup based on. So the very important first thing you have. To do when you are uh, um, preparing a trade is to choose your trading direction if it's a buys or if it's a sell so basically do the technical analysis okay but technical analysis 
uh, is based on um, many different methods, okay? But the most powerful tactical analysis is multi time frame. Always stick to multi time frame. When you have multi time frame synchronized in the same direction, you have better chances to end up on the winning side. Okay. In that case, we were experiencing a bullish divergence on the moving average of the MACD. So I was expecting uh, to see a corrective movement here to the upside. And on the four hour, this was this is daily, sorry. Uh, we also have a, a daily divergence here. Another thing is a false breakout here. So basically, great, great, great place, technically looking for possible pullbacks. And basically, this is the place where we, on the one hour chart, got a bullish trending structure, three higher highs, higher lows. It looks like it gains momentum. The idea here is simple, looking for pullbacks and buys. Now, pullbacks can happen in several ways. Most common are ABCD and breakout, or some sort of a range and then breakout. Uh, all that under the assumption that the buyers are really in control. Uh, if we take into consideration that this, after this uh, low was, as you can see, false break here on this low, right, with a bullish divergence, and we start to create higher highs, technically that looks promising, okay? But it doesn't matter what you draw, what matters what happens on the market. And always remember that. So I was looking for setups, and here we got the setup. ABCD correction. Technically speaking, and in most of the times when you combine that in multi time frame, you would end up here as a winner. That's a very powerful technique. But does it matter that I draw such lines? No. And it's very important you know that it doesn't matter what lines you draw, it doesn't matter how beautiful uh, uh, the, the, the arrows, right? You, the shoot the arrows to the upside. Uh, you would put on your chart, these arrows would never make the market move. I want you to remember that. And here is the thing. We got the ABCD, uh, we got a breakout, and it looks promising. We also had, uh, between these lows, uh, basically bullish hidden divergence here. So technically speaking, once again, it looks like it's ready to go up. When we start the trade, it looks promising, right? And we already can start and imagine, oh, now I'm going to smash the market. Now I'm going to catch a big fish. But in some cases, the market would prove you wrong. In most of the times, there will be some exit signs before. In some cases, there will not be exit signs, like when to cut early. And what you would be dealing with is a decision to make. Let's, uh, for the assumption, you say this is your stop loss here. Uh, when you enter the trade, what to do next, right? What When the market comes close to this area. So what most traders do, unfortunately, is they remove the stop loss and they say, I'll give it a little bit more. I'll see how it will behave here, okay? But that's a very, very, very serious mistake because... If your level did not hold, look what happens here. If my analysis makes me this as ABCD, now after I got a new low, I don't have the first ABCD is wrong. So I either rebuild the ABCD pattern or the market tried to prove me wrong, but I am certainly wrong on this position. So if I am wrong in my initial plan, if I will remove my protections, will that make me right? Of course not. It will make me idiot. So the very important thing here is stick to your initial plan. It was a plan for, a re I'm, of course, as under the assumption that your plan was correct based on your uh, correct techniques, okay? But stick to that. Don't change the plan because you are getting closer to the protection level or the stop loss or the invalidation. If you remove the stop loss or the protection levels, will that convince the market that, ah, <laughs> he removed the stop loss. So now let's pay him back. No, it's ridiculous to think so, okay? So what to do with the loss? First of all, accept a loss, okay? Look at it. When, when you are working for a, for a company, will every single day be your day, the best day? Will every single task you would be able to deliver right on the right second? No, there will be surprises. There will be changes. There will be moments when you have to adjust. 
right? So what makes you think trading is not so? Loss in trading is part of trading. Don't try to avoid it. There are techniques that can save you and help you to cut your losses early. I teach these techniques in Traders Academy Club, and I invite you to join us and learn all these techniques in real time. But in, 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 in general trading, okay, there is a plan you build, stick to that plan for validation, for invalidation, for management. It's extremely important to have a clear trading plan for all these things. So trading is not about just entering and hoping for good. And like most traders do also, especially in the beginning, it's entering without a reason or they think there is a reason, but there is no reason. So when you get a loss, accept a loss. Cut. If you have a chance to cut early, do that. If not, it hit the stop loss. But do not, and I repeat, do not, and I repeat, do not start to changing your levels and your plans just to make, to give it a little bit more chance to make the market convinced that you are right and not him. When the market doesn't agree with your lines. Not the market is wrong. Your lines are wrong. And I want you to remember that. So, and here is a very important thing. Look at the gold now. Okay, so my initial plan was here. Let's zoom in a bit. Here. A, B, C, D. Boom. Failed. Then my plan here did not change because the A, B, C, D was recreated. So I was looking for a new entry with the break of the next ABC. Never happened. Instead, the market made three lower highs, lower lows, proving it not bullish at all. So I stepped back at all from my plan. I don't enter. But imagine what happens if instead of accepting a loss, I just move my stop loss a bit lower and then a bit lower and then a bit lower and lower and lower. So instead of a trade that I would be risking X, let's say just for example, 1%, I would find myself in a deep hole of 5% or 6 or 10, doesn't matter. Depends how much market moves, right? So the worst thing you can do when you trade and you have a specific plan, risk management plan, is not to stick to that. Avoid at all costs this mistake. When you enter a trade, you enter a trade based on uh, uh, facts, right? Based normally, based on charts. If you rely on the charts to bring you in a trade, rely on the chart to take you out of the trade. Not on your expectations, not on your belief, definitely not on your uh, um, emotions and feelings like... Mm. Just a little bit, I'll just give it a little bit more, just a little bit more. It's endless. It grows faster than a snowball, than kids build snowballs in Canada. My friend, I've been there. I did these terrible mistakes. I allow myself to sit here in my office, as you can see behind me, and to record it because I know how it feels, because I know what it is, because I know this is disaster in trading. Avoid that at all costs. You got a loss, accept it. Your loss is a beginning of a new opportunity coming next. Okay? There was a loss. There was a losing streak. So what? It's cut. It's a done deal. If you don't cut it, you just postpone the possibly negative uh, outcome somewhere in the future. This is ridiculous if you think about it. Right? You have a chance to exit a wrong trade with a $100 uh, loss or you carry on and you convince yourself it will be fine and then you find yourself with a minus $1,000 loss. Okay, What will be more painful to you? Don't find yourself in this place giving a little bit more to the market and always adjusting your... Uh, accept your loss and reanalyze the whole uh, scenario. If your stop loss was hit, there is a big chance the market will try to tell you something. Okay, And this something, in most of the cases, your preparation, your analysis, 
was wrong. As simple as that. As simple as that. Okay? So uh, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to present to you. So what do we do once there is a loss or losing streak or losing day or week? Doesn't matter. You first of all accept the loss. If you have the chance to cut earlier, you cut earlier. If you rely the uh, charts to enter you in a trade, rely the charts to take you out of the trade as well. It's extremely important. Okay. Do not, and I repeat, do not move your stop loss in larger protections just because you still have this feeling it will be fine. Most likely, it will not be fine. If there is a loss to accept, accept. Loss is part of trading. Exactly like a bad day in work, bad day in relationship, or bad workout if you go in gym, or bad uh, result if you're a sportman or a sports team. Part of the journey. Accept it. Don't let it to go and start a negative streak mainly here control it from here okay you control it from here it will be uh, also affected in your uh, in your results in your track performance okay my friends so that's it for this video i hope you understand the, the importance of accepting a loss or a streak and not carrying a losing position it ends bad i've been there I've done that, trust me, and million others like myself that paid badly for these mistakes. Do not repeat these mistakes. Feel free to share this video with anyone you feel needs to hear that and needs to understand that. Hopefully, it will help him or her to avoid these mistakes. Once again, thank you for your time watching this video. I want to invite you to join us in Traders Academy Club to learn all our trading techniques, how it works in real time. And uh, to do so, just follow the link below in the description or in the pinned comment. And I hope to see you with us. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. I'll see you soon with more videos.